Okay, so we haven't found her yet. So what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna shake the bees that were in the honey for super down here. So if she's on one of these frames, she'll get shaken down. I'll look real quick while I'm doing it, just to make sure that we're not seeing her. But this is a way of getting the bees down without really hurting them. In this frame, we call this wonky comb. You can see it's all sticking out and not real pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and just take that right off and have them redo it. So I can just peel this right off. And they're gonna have to, to redo it. Fun fact that bees, it takes bees seven pounds of honey to make a pound of wax. So the more frames that you have built out is less honey that they have to use to make the wax. But when you're new to beekeeping like we are, you have to get everything made by the bees. So it's gonna take a few years for us to, to have all this comb drawn out. using this box is kind of like a funnel. It's keeping them down in there and not letting that queen fly away if she's... So I think we're pretty good. So we'll put this back. And before we do, this is called the queen excluder. So it looks like a, um, a rack that you'd find in a oven or in a um, refrigerator. And what it does or the holes are wide enough for the worker bees to fit through so the worker bees can fit through this but the queens can't so if she tries to come up into the next box she can't fit so this makes her stay down and keep her eggs down below so we're going to take this off lots of bees so we will smoke them to get them down so that we don't want to squish them when we put the, uh... there we go. So now we'll take the honey or the queen excluder, go ahead and put that on. And that will keep the queen from getting up here. Now we'll put the honey super back on top. And I'll get this organized. All right, so we're gonna leave them alone for another week and we'll come back and check and hopefully they'll, they'll be real busy.